In this video, I am going to show you a very interesting model MEDA, which is a multimodal diffusion foundation model for textual reasoning, multimodal understanding and text to image generation. Just have a quick look at this MEDA decoding while I tell you a bit more about this model. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. What this model does is, it tries to challenge the dominance of autoregressive architectures by proving that diffusion can excel across multiple AI tasks simultaneously. MEDA represents a new class of multimodal diffusion foundation models that achieves strong performance across diverse domains through a unified architectural approach. I will be talking a bit more about this MEDA's architecture later down the road in the video but for now let's get it installed and we will play around with it i am going to use this ubuntu system and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gp of vram let's begin by creating a virtual environment and for this infrastructure for vm and gpu i am very grateful to master compute who are sponsoring it if you're also looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus next up let's git clone the repo and i will also drop the link to it in video's description i already have that repo so i'm just going to cd into that repo and then from here all we need to do is to install all the requirements for that, let's use the trusted pip command and that is going to take a few minutes while that happens. Let's also get introduced to our sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as A-B tests for your marketing or captions. That allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so let's wait for these requirements to get installed. Everything is installed. Let's now launch our Gradio demo. And the first time when you run it, it is going to download the model. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. Okay, everything is ready. Let's go to our local system and then access this in the browser at port 7860. There you go, our meta is running now. And there you go. So we can uh, select this meta 8 billion. Other are coming soon. Let me first show you the example. So this is the example. I'm just going to maybe select this first one. And then this is, let me click on generate sequence here. Now, what is happening here is, you see that we, the, the prompt was that a rectangular prism has a length of five units, a width of four units, and has a height of three units. So whatever the text prompt is, and it has created all of these, you see. So it is telling you the sequence generator in the live way. There you go. And this is the final output. So it has gone into its neurons. It has pulled out the information and given it to you. So this one for the text one, they also have shared an image one. So for example, you can select your own image or let's first go with their image. So this is the image. Let's click on generate description. And this is going to, sorry, I'll just go here. So there you go. So it is going to generate the response for you. So this is the beauty of it. And I will let it run so that you can also see how exactly it is narrowing down to the response. And it is going to describe the image. It is just pulling out all the candidates. Let's wait for it. Still working through it. There you go. So you see it is going through all of these steps. So 64 steps and this many. So it has narrowed it down to this. Selecting different tokens and the compositions. It's, it's the same architecture which I was referring to you earlier. 
so primarily there are three key comp uh, key components here first a unified diffusion framework with shared probabilistic formulation that processes different data types without modality specific components then we have a mixed long chain of thought fine tuning strategy that aligns reasoning processes between textual and visual domains and then the best thing is something called as uni pro grpo or uni grpo which is a policy gradient based primarily on reinforcement learning algorithm specifically designed for diffusion model and there you go we have our final generated answer so let me select one of my own image and then maybe we can also test it out let's me go to my local system and select it so i'm just going to generate the sequence for this image of my own so i'm just going to click generate description and then it is just describing it let's see how it goes i'll go go up you see it already narrowed it down to a person how fascinating it is to watch this so let's wait while this does it let's also check the vram consumption in real time so pretty heavy model over 46 gig of vram okay and then it is going through it that image shows a person pointing towards the right and all that stuff so if you quickly uh, and closely look at this model unlike traditional approaches that combine language models with diffusion models separately meta is handling both discrete text and continuous image data within a single diffusion based architecture that bridges a gap between pre-training and post-training methodologies in unified multimodal systems so i'm really impressed by the way uh, they have produced it let's go down still working through it you see it is culling down all the tokens and masks so i believe it is also going from latent space to pixel space then just narrowing it down to the pixel required as you can see here how cool is that so it is just removing the mask now coming to the pixel space and then i believe through some clip model it is showing us this final generated text amazing stuff and then of course you can not only go with text multimodal understanding as i showed you earlier also there the model which they have shared is very very finely written i think if you're interested you should read it it's a very good read i would highly recommend reading it so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this diffusion language model especially around its mixed uh, chain of thought and uni grpo because that is something which you can see also see here really really very interesting if you like the content please kindly do me a favor like the video share the video and if you, because that is the only marketing i do on the channel and i totally and solely rely on you people to help me out with the marketing and i'm very very obliged if you please help me out there so thanks for all the support